Hello. Once again, Ham Radio 3.0 and it's Mark 21CQ. Now, how to, to configure your SIP phone, Cisco 525G2 on Hams over IP. So, once you've actually joined and created an account in our help desk, You've uploaded your, your amateur radio license. You've quoted your DMRD. It's just another way to making sure that you're a radio ham. This is amateur radio network. And we want to protect the, 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 the network for, for other users as well as our own. You then are sent or the, the admin guy or one of us will pick up your ticket and process your ticket for you. And once that's done, we'll send you through credentials. Credentials is a um, piece of information that enables you to configure your phone. For the purpose of this particular um, configuration, I've done it on line one. Cisco 525 is a line, is a five line phone. Line one is at the top. Work down from that side of the phone. One, two, three, four, five. Without any other network on here, I could have put this anywhere else. For the purpose of the video, I've done it on line one. If you're having Hamshack hotline, it would automatically, as it's a supported phone, they can automatically provision for you, but it will be on line one. You can't change that provisioning on line one. But you're free to do all the other networks on the other lines. And all you do, for example, say this was actually Hamshack Hotline. All you have to do is on line two, click that to two. Then you can do your process of enabling line two i'll disable that for the moment on the short name here you can play about with this you can have hoip on your extension number or you can have a description or you can just have your disc uh, your extension number it doesn't matter you can play about with it as much as you like any changes you make on here before you start configuring the details for the line I would oh it's it's hidden behind something I think I know it isn't some it changes you can change from page to page without interfering of what you've put here but once everything's finished always submit changes purpose of configuration I've done it on line one Enable the line, please. Private. Subscription expires 3,600 seconds. Basically, when you keep your phone online 24-7, it would re-register to the network over a course of period of time. On Hamchat Hotline, if you don't keep your phone online, connected to the internet over a 30-day period and if they see your line once they scan the network as non-registered they can assume that is actually dead not used forgotten expired whatever they 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 they, they think and would reclaim that extension number it's not all lost you can obviously go back in and re-register for a new line same process I've actually done before, and obviously provisioning uh, the line as, as they do. But please keep your phones online 24-7 because over a course of period of time, it re-registers to the network for communication to the network purposes. Don't think there's anything else down here that I need to show you. Show you? Oh, yes, there is. Sorry. SIP transport for us is UDP, 
There's another one, TCP. But we use UDP. Zip port. This doesn't actually have to be 5160. The purpose of the video, and it's working. I can um, I'll put it there. Nothing else that needs to be changed. Or you need to keep in you need to enable NAT and NAT keep alive, as you can see there. Scroll down. Mailbox, once it's configured, your line's configured, it's always set to your, your password, it's always set to your extension. And how you get to your um, voicemail on your phone is the star key 97 and that would dial press dial and that would dial your voicemail follow the prompts you can change the password to a memorable number but for the moment it is actually set up for your extension number please watch out for this many mistakes have had done by this simple ones when you get your credentials you would notice a proxy server address copy and paste all the characters without any gaps as you see here on some other phones like polycom yearlink fanfill not too sure about groundstream because i haven't actually noticed any configuration on groundstream but it's possible the double dot or colon, whatever it's actually called, 5160, isn't shown on the end of the PBX address on the configuration. The 5160 port number is shown somewhere else. Obviously, make sure register, yes. Call sign or display name. Password for Polycom users. Make sure when you apply, and that's for all networks, Polycom have a maximum up of up to 10, extend, uh, 10 password, no, 10 character password. It can be reduced just in case. Sometimes, sometimes it, it, it requires a shorter one. But it's a maximum of 10 for polycom and it's something for 13 i think i quoted the wrong name on a previous video um an introduction to the the, the 525 i think but i'm not too sure now but it's a maximum of of up to 10 characters on the password please quote that when you're when you're creating the extension ticket that you've got a, a polycom Otherwise, you get a 32 character password and use that. User ID is your password. Um, sorry, your extension. Down through the bottom here. I think I've got it on order, but I'm not 100% too sure. Preferred codex is G722 for high definition audio. It won't work on Hamshack Hotline, but I think it will work on it will work on Hams over IP. As far as I can remember, it will work on Amateur Wire. Not too sure if it will work on NZ SIP, which is the New Zealand one. And I don't believe it will work on Extended Freedom. That is your configuration. Once you've done that, as it's not automatic, sorry, submit changes. The phone will reboot or restart. And your line should turn green. If it doesn't turn green, double check the password. No spaces. Double check the PBX. Depending on what server you're on, the US one, AP, or EU. You've got this here. Nothing else seems to work. Check the um, wiki on hams over IP. 
that would help for the configuration in some cases we may have to make changes down here I think it's down here which is actually on our wiki primary DNS and secondary DNS I think that is for when we had uh, reprovisioning difficulties with Amshack Hotline where it knocked out the rest of the services you had on your phone. Don't think that is necessary anymore, but I will double check. Always follow the wiki. You can put, you can put the networks on the phone first. If you're waiting for your ticket and your extension for Hamshack Hotline, the new provisioning script for Hamshack Hotline will not remove the other networks on the phone and it doesn't remove Wi-Fi that you've already put Wi-Fi on your phone. If you have, it won't remove it because it's a pain in the neck trying to put that on the phone whilst your phone is trying to provision. In fact, it probably won't work. Anyway, I think that's it. Probably running out of time soon. So thank you very much for watching my YouTube videos. Please press that subscribe button. Makes this job doing videos worthwhile. Any questions, please reply or comment on this video. Constructive criticism about this system for All Star Bridge network but please don't be rude it does connect or dial into the all-star bridge network from the FOIP services to PTT press the star key 99 button to PTT and talk to stop talking or unkey, press the pound key or the hash key. And I think that is it for the moment. 73s, like I said, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you again on another video. Cheers, guys. All the best. Bye for now.